Hey guys, it's Joe with Modern Survival Sense. I'm back to you with another knife review. This time I'm reviewing a fixed blade knife. I know I've been a little bit lacking in that department. I actually do prefer fixed blade knives over folding knives. Uh, they tend to be, they tend, they're actually st a stronger design and they're more capable than a folding knife is and more sturdy and stable and secure, right? Okay, so the two knives before you are actually the same model. They're made by a brand called SE Knives. Uh, this one with the orange handle is actually one of the older models when the uh, when they were referred to as Rat Cutlery, but because of uh, branding issues, they wanted to separate themselves from the Ontario Rat line, so they rebranded themselves as SE. And these are the exact same knife. Let's see, I'll go ahead and take this out. Now, if you go to their website, you're not going to be able to find this knife. It's because this has been modified, and I'll explain my modifications here in a minute. Alright, the standard SE knife, which this is the standard handles on a, a green, green bladed SE knife. As you notice, it says RC3 on there. And that's because that is when it was manufactured under the Rat Cutlery name. So you have, you can kind of see the emblem that used to be there. It says Rat. Just kind of a, a faint hint of it. You can't feel it at all. Eventually it'll be gone. And then RC3, which was the model. And it's made by Rowan Manufacturing. And this is a USA made knife, which is good. The handles are a G10. Now the steel on these knives is 1095. It's a carbon steel. Now the knife itself did come uh, coated when I first had it. And I've recently taken the coating off and polished it up a bit because I wanted to uh, give it a little, give it some more life. Or basically give it a new life. When you take off a coating or something or do some modification to a knife, it gives you know, a completely different appearance. So it's almost as if I've gotten a new knife, even though it's the same one I've had for years. And I have had this for years. And uh, the reason why <laughs> the reason why I have a second one is because I actually like this knife that much. Uh, SE Knives is actually a very reputable company. Uh, they stand behind all of their knives with a, well, most of their knives, I should say, uh, by a no questioning uh, not money back guarantee but a, a replacement warranty if your knife ever breaks they will replace it free of charge they basically want you to get out and use their knife if it ever does break while using it they don't want you to abuse it obviously they will replace it now like I said this is the SE3 this comes in at just over eight and a quarter inches. I think it's 8.3 inches with the the glass breaker style pummel. It's not really a glass breaker because it's not it's not sharp and it wouldn't work very well. You might be able to do it, but it would take a lot of finesse. Uh, the blade is 3.8 inches overall. That's with the choil. The cutting edge is actually just over or just under three and a half inches. Let's see if I can get some better view for you. But uh, in hand, I've got relatively small hands, small to medium hands, and my finger does come over to the edge. I mean, it, it's kind of perfect for my hand. But uh, I can see that where some people have said it is kind of a smaller handle. There you go. Like I said, it is a G10, an orange G10. A lot of their models, most of their models actually, are a um, micarta. I think they have linen and uh, paper micarta. Maybe canvas, I'm not sure. I don't have any of their micarta versions. Uh, this one, what I've done is I've taken the coating off. It used to be green. I took the coating off and polished it up. Before I did that, though, I actually etched with a battery and some uh, oh, 
I did a couple different ways. I did it with vinegar and also salt water. But I took a you know battery and salt water, and the battery I used was like a nine volt, and I etched etched in the logo, just uh, the RC3 on this side and the Rowan on the other side. If you were to do this on your own, what you would want to do is leave the coating on until you're done etching it because the coating acts as, you know, acts as a, you know, a stencil, if you will, for the etching. So now, if you look at it, if I can do it without blinding you guys, you get the RC on one side and Rowan on the other, and I don't have to worry about that going away. And it looks, obviously, it looks like a different knife than, say, this one. Eventually I'll polish it up a little bit more than it already is. You see it is a decent polish. You can almost see me in the background. Alright, and now on this other one, like I said, these are both SE3 knives. Uh, the older RC brand, or branding I should say. The company itself never changed. So if you ever see uh, one of these, the RC model, as long as it's labeled RC and not RAT, if it's labeled RC and then 3 or some other number, that's genuine SE uh, knives, and it'll be covered under their lifetime warranty. Oh, that's another thing. I said that they will replace your knife if it ever is broken. Well, that's not just for the original owner. That's for any owner that ever owns a knife. So if you ever see somebody selling one of these you know, on the secondary market, it'd be definitely worthwhile to pick it up because that warranty will transfer to you. All right, now this other one, it's a little bit different. Uh, obviously, I've left the coating on and I probably will leave it on for now or probably forever. But uh, the handles are different. I actually got this from, oh, let's see, it was the Knife Connection. They sell aftermarket handles and if you go through them, you can actually buy the blank and by the handles at the same time. As long as you do that, they'll send you, you know, the blank and the handles. Of course, you have to put the thing together, but that's not an issue. They send you wrenches for it. And what I like about going through them is they actually have these different colored G10 handles. Like I said SE most of their most of the SE knives have the micarta. The only G10 handles they have are or is this orange that comes with the green models. And I think they also have the Venom Green SE knives that have the orange G10. So if you want some other color for G10 like I have here, you have to go with an aftermarket maker. And like I said, the knife connection is where I got this. I think I paid overall $120 shipped. They had some uh, deal going on. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, these knives, uh, even this one I bought when I originally bought it, it was, oh, I want to say pretty close to $100, like $94. They are a little bit higher priced. Uh, there are other manufacturers out there that, uh, you know, make similar knives that are cheaper. Even the Rat line from Ontario is cheaper. However, it doesn't come with their lifetime warranty. And uh, from my experience, these are actually really good knives. They come very sharp and they, they keep their edge for a good long while. All right. And like I said, I got this from the knife connection. It still, or it still has its coating on there, and that's the new SE logo and the SE markings. Obviously, it still has Rowan here and SE knives. And what I like about the knife connection handles, if you notice, let's see, put this side by side. You notice the knife connection ones are contoured. The standard ones from SE aren't. They're flat on the sides. They are, you know, obviously curved here and they're pretty comfortable. But these actually flare out a little bit more and it fits your hand better. So you get a much better grip on it. And obviously it looks nice too. And the G10, another thing. Uh, this is kind of more of a review on the knife connection handles. But uh, on the knife connection handles, 
they actually put grooves, very slight grooves or texturing on the handle so that you get a really nice grip, whereas the, the SE ones are kind of smooth. I'm not saying that you can't get a good grip on it, but you can, you can definitely tell a difference between the two. All right, so the good thing about the SE knives, let's see, I didn't say the thickness. One thing I like about the SE3 over, say, the SE4, because the SE4 is not a whole lot different. It actually has the same same size handle. The blade's just a little bit thick or longer, but it's also a little bit thicker. And what I like about the 3 over the 4 is that thinness. It creates a heck of a slicer. I said I did have the SE4. I ended up selling it and uh, buying a second <laughs> Becker BK-16, actually. Because it just wasn't as nice as the, the 16, in my opinion. But the SE3, as far as SE knives go, the 3 is my all-time favorite. It's not overly long. Like I said, it's just over 8 inches. The blade's about 3.5 inches. Or the cutting length is 3.5 inches. Uh, I could probably do away with uh, or do without the choil, but it's not really an issue. It's good for getting, you know, uh, real precise shavings right there at your finger. But overall, I like the knives a lot, and that's why I have two of them. And I'll try to keep this one, uh, and, well, as is for the time being. Probably wear the heck out of the other one because I've had, I've had the orange one for. I want to say five, six years, something like that. Maybe five years. It's been quite a while. I wasn't married at the time. <laughs> but they're very nice knives. And if you're looking for a, a fairly thin, not overly heavy, uh, fixed blade knife, I would definitely recommend this. I didn't... I didn't tell you what the weight on these were. Um, from SE, the knife without... Actually, I'm not sure the G10. The G10 may be a little bit heavier than the Micarta. I'm not sure. But typically, they have them listed at just over 5 ounces for the knife by itself. And then with the sheath, it's 9 ounces. And that may be with the clip as well. Because this doesn't seem very substantial. Now on the sheath, they did make some changes when uh, they swapped from, actually just the last couple years I think, uh, this is the original sheath that they had. It was you know, a molded plastic. Now the, the new ones are molded plastic also, but they're a little bit different. So it's got that Rat Cutlery logo established in 97. That may be when they, they were with uh, Ontario first, I'm not sure. But uh, this is the new one, and as you can tell, there's some definite differences. It has a complete different feel to it. Let's see. Try I'm trying to see if the fit and finish on this is better. It looks like it is. It looks like the edges here actually are lined up a little bit better on the new one versus the old one. Let's see that. Yep. They both have they both have the drainage hole, which is a really good thing. The hole placement is very similar. It is a little bit different. As you can tell, there is a texturing on the new one. And it looks a little more refined, more precise. Let's see that's got a little bit more detailing on the new one versus the old. And then another thing is on the inside. Uh, they changed the way that, or they added a little more material where it holds the knife into place. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, if it'll focus for us. Hmm. Try to bring it in. Kind of. Hmm. Anyways, there's some material. You kind of see the the glint of the light bouncing off of it right there well the material on the inside of the new ones actually significantly thicker than the old one which provides a lot more uh, retention of the knife this is the old sheath with now granted because this has been polished it is a little bit thinner 
also because the coating has gone it is a little bit thinner so it doesn't it's not going to retain quite as well and I may fix that in the near future but there's a little bit of wobble and it's real easy to to pull the knife free again it was a little bit tighter before I took the coating off and the new one it has a very distinct uh, pop and it takes more force to pull it out and that's because of the thicker material right there holding it in place all right well that is the se3 by se knives like i said if you're looking for a small fixed bladed knife for general tasks or well any task really this this will be able to handle almost anything except for say chopping but anything that you need from a knife this will be able to take care of for you so if that's what you're looking for I definitely recommend this brand and this particular knife alright I hope you enjoyed my video guys if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel uh, comments and questions post them in the comment section below till next time guys this is Joe see ya